Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. We've got a really busy week. We're going to be burning timbers, we're going to be putting oil on them, and hopefully start getting those set for the new carport. So we better get cracking. picking up all of this looser material because it makes great fire starter. This is all of that uh, pine that's got oils on it, you know, in the bark, kind of like cedar does. So this may be a whole winter's worth of starting fires right here. So I keep a small pail of it in the cabin uh, so that when I do start a fire, I grab a handful of it, get it going. Of course, a lot of times in the winter, the fire never dies out, right? So uh, you don't have real a whole lot of need for this at that point. This wood right here that I'm working on, these two by sixes, a little on the dry side, so it's soaking up a lot of this oil. I'm thinking that this material that I've got laid out here will probably take about a gallon. But that's a gallon well spent. This stuff right here is probably the best stuff that I've found to put on these timbers to make them weatherproof. This is the Cabot Australian Timber Frame Oil. And I'll tell you what folks, I built a lot of buildings up here and this is some really good stuff. Well, this is the last beam that I'm gonna have to do. Then I'm gonna start on the post. Um, these actually took a gallon and a quarter. It's really dry, it'll soak it up, but um, just based on you know past experience, I figured it'd take about a gallon. I'll be glad to get this on there. That will protect it if I get any rain um, before we actually get it put up. So that will be nice. <laughs> it would be even nicer if it was already put up but uh, that's what we're working on. That's our project, right?
going to put tar on the bottom two feet of these besides charring them. And then I'm going to burn and, or lightly burn and oil the upper portion. But this will help preserve whatever goes in the ground. Hey guys, you want to go to the train? Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go. What are you doing, Dolly? Hmm? What are you doing?
this tar is not going on too bad actually going on a little easier than I thought it might especially since I heated it up but this is going to really make this last a long time burning it and I'm even got the bottoms done down here with this tar Well, this is actually the last post that I'm going to have to do. Thank goodness. About got this tar complete. I couldn't get it warm enough to spread it with a brush, but it's working real good with this trial. I'm not complaining. I want to just be able to kind of brush it on but couldn't quite get it warm enough and I got it warm enough to be able to spread real easy Well, we're at that time of the year again where it's constantly changing um, dramatically, like down around 30 at night and then up around maybe sometimes 70 during the day. So hopefully this is the last little cold snap that we will get because, as you can see, I'm about out of wood. I think I've got enough to last, though. Because it won't be long, I've got to get that ground turned over to start planting. days where it's only the high is only going to be like 42 so yeah so the other day I mentioned keeping uh, some fire starter in here so right here is a bucket that I just keep some papers got some matches and stuff down in there got a bunch of them rolled up several feet of them and then back here where I said that I kept some of the pine shavings right here that's fire starter as well I'm set to go with stuff to keep the fire going you can see the different types of sizes of wood that I keep in here some larger some medium size and some smaller um, that way I've got a mixture if I wake up early in the morning and Try and keep the fire going. If it's died down, then I can use some of this smaller stuff right here and get it going really quick. But uh, let's go outside and see if we can begin to lay out uh, where the posts are going to go for the carport. Alright guys, I brought up all of the used 2x4s um, that had been sharpened and used as batter boards because I've got three posts to go in on each side, so what I need is batter boards in each corner that I can lay out and set screws in where I can put a string line to where I know where my corners are. So the easiest way for me to do that is I've set a pin right here, a wooden pin basically. Um, it's not permanent, and I'm going to use that to measure by. Now I just want to kind of know what 90 degrees would be so when I pull this tape from this pin to this pin at my 22 foot mark I'm just going to kind of eyeball my square in here just to kind of give me an idea 
of where my tape will pull to. Right there is roughly 90 degrees. So then what I will do, leaving that lay there, I will take my other tape. I want to come over here 12 feet. I'm going to set another pin right here. at 12 feet all right then I want to take a tape which I'm gonna to have to use this other one and I'm gonna pull from corner to corner I wonder if that will stay there from corner to corner it measures 25 feet 1 and 3 eighths so 25 feet 1 and 3 eighths then from this pin to the opposite corner. All right, we said 25 feet 1 and 3 eighths and then 12. And wherever those intersect, that is where my pin is going to go, which is going to put it right here in this corner. Staying away from that pin, about a foot and a half, actually. Uh, I decided to give myself a little bit more room in there. See these screws actually go up here on top and you actually can move them uh, side to side to wherever that pin is because once I get these up I'll put a string up here and then I will put them right dead over those pins I'll remeasure everything to these screws and then the screw actually becomes my point of reference uh, to stretch my string lines back up to find that point again You don't think that ground's hard? Did you hear that? It's pretty doggone hard. Everything up here is pretty much red clay and shale.
All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> I've got a screw in over here, I think set pretty close. So what I'm going to do is take this plumb bob now and go down to that pin. And right about the center of that pin, I'm touching this string, okay? Now I'm touching the string, but I'm about a half an inch off. Move this screw over about a half an inch. Okay, I'm about middle ways now. All right, to give myself a starting point, I'm just trying to kind of eyeball where this might hit. Somewhere right there. I'll attach my string to it. Then we'll run over to the other side. And again, we're just going to kind of eyeball it. Well, that's about middle ways. I can actually cheat a little bit and use this. Line up my two far and near. Right about in there. So, get another screw. Cut off a lot of that excess. Alright, so we're going to check this one, and I think this one's a little bit out of line, right about, about a half inch. So let's set another one, a little closer to me. Move this over just a hair. And it looks like we're about right halfway on it. And as far as the corner goes, I'm right in with those two st two strings. Look at that. These string lines and these screws, all I have to do, I can leave these batter boards up. I can take the strings out. Then I can come and I can put them back. And they'll be right back lined up. Look at that. Dead up above that pin. Folks, that's how I set up batter boards. Um, I guess there's different ways that you could do it. That's the easiest for me. Uh, but now that I've got my pins set as a reference, I can actually take that string up because the dogs would run into it anyway and do what I need to do in here and then come right back and put my strings up because um, I've got my reference now set and my corner would be right back up above that pin. But um, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and start some supper. Appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us here while we're doing the work on the carport. If you like these kind of builds, I invite you to click up in the top right hand corner when I started the foundation down there on the, temp on the timber frame workshop because I basically did the same thing. Anyway folks, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.